Hey everybody, it's Shake and Bako on behalf of Barker's Crest Studio, and today we're going to be talking about the Course Designer. So, here it is. This is what I know a lot of people have been waiting for. Uh, let's show it off a little bit. So as you can see, we got our menus at our bottom. We got our holes menu, paint, elevations, your train items, trees, structures, water, care path, out of bounds, testing tools, environment, and screenshot. But the first thing we want to do, like any course designer, is create our first golf hole. So let's go into the holes menu and create a new hole. So we can create a par 3, a par 4, or a par 5. But for the sake of this video, let's create a par 3. Alright. There we go. And as a lot of people have played Avatar Golf will notice, this is new. So now when you create holes in Tea Time Golf, you can actually use templates. So as you can see, we're on our T block right now and we can actually change the template of what T's we want to use. So let's find one we think we want to use. Alright, let's use staggered left, classic staggered left. Alright, and then we've got our green as we can move it closer or farther away, as you can see. We can change the shape. Let's find one we like here. Kind of like that three sides. Bow tie. Let's use the bow tie green. And let's get it about 200 yards away from the blacks. There we go. And as you can see, it populated some pin positions already on there. And yeah, like the hole would technically be ready to play if we want. We could save it and go play it. But I don't think that's going to be up to most of our standards. So let's add a little bit more. Let's get out of this menu, go into train items, and let's add a fairway. Alright, so let's add some, some points here, and make a fairway. Alright, that looks pretty good. I'll hit X. There we go, our first ever fairway. Still looking kind of boring though, why don't we add a couple bunkers as well. So now when you're making bunker stuff, if you go left and right, you can actually change the texture and as you might have noticed I'm playing on an Xbox One controller so the controls are different on every platform you're on but I like this classic bunker white so let's just choose that let's make a little bunker right here a little bit misshapen but that's alright let's make another one over here let's make it bigger let's have it wrap around All right, there we go. We got a couple bunkers. Got a fairway and a green. Say what's still missing is we have no elevations. So why don't we go in and actually give us some elevations? So we can raise these T blocks up. What we're gonna do? We're gonna go over and flatten them out. There's a lot of people watching, if you've played Avatar Golf, you know our elevation tools worked a little different in that game. Uh, we want to give a lot more control for Tea Time Golf. So now, because elevation is just such an important part of golf, we want it to really put the control in your hands. So we can lower the fairway a bit. Let's actually raise this part of the green. We'll give it like a tear green, flatten it out. And then we'll smooth it out. Alright, it's starting to look a little bit like a golf hole. Still looking pretty plain though, so why don't we add some trees? As you can see, we have a lot of different tree types. Aspen, birch, oak. Maple trees, hickory, tropical, desert trees, etc, etc, etc. But, you know what? Let's use these aspen trees. I like these aspen trees. A little bit of style to them. Just add them all around. There we go. Start, starting to look pretty good now. And finally what I want to show off is the paint tool. So if you go into this paint tool, you get four textures to choose from, and essentially you start painting them on 
on the golf course. You know what, let's add some rock right here. And of course, you can cycle through what you want to use. Since we got the rock here, let's actually raise this up. And for the record, yes, the rocks do behave like rocks. So if you hit your golf ball on the rock, it will act like you hit a rock. So you can really use this terrain painting. You know, you can you can paint on some tall grass. You can paint on what it, you can paint on sand, and it will act like sand. So there's a lot of power in that tool. All right, we've actually got a playable golf hole. It's not fanciest golf hole, but considering we did it in a few minutes, that's not too bad. Uh, oh, oh, how could I forget? Of course, you want to see the structures. Oh my goodness, shake and bake. What were you thinking? So we've got lots of structures this year. We've got golf structures from gazebos to golf carts. We've got your benches, your ball washers, statues, flower pots, rocks, walls, fences, bridges, doghouse, <laughs> campground items, houses, sheds. There is a ton of structures. So, oh, oh, but look what I stumbled across. Got a bunch of windmills, so you know what? Let's let's put. I like this windmill. This is one of my favorite objects. So let's put that right there. Ah, that will look pretty good. Yes, there will be a lot of objects, and part of the reason what we want to do is we want to give a lot of you a lot of potential for unique courses and a lot of power in your hands. So when you share your course with the world, you can really it can stand out amongst the rest. Uh, and we actually have filters that you can put on too to sort if you want to just sort by certain themes. But uh, yeah, there is a lot to choose from. So this is our first hole. Why don't we save this and play it? There's a lot more we could do, but let's just do that for now. All right, so I went in. I'm loading the course. Oh, here we go. It is in play mode now. There's our flyover. There's our quick little golf hole, but considering it only took a few minutes, that's not too bad. Got our little windmill. All right, here we go. Got a seven iron. Let's just try and knock this in the hole, shall we? Perfect shot. Oh, and there's the ball trail. I swear I did not plan that. Just happened to hit a perfect shot. Alright, Pr pretty plain course for now, but we will definitely add on that in future videos. So that's the golf designer for now. We are going to make more videos in the future. There is a lot to talk about with the course designer. You can make pot bunkers, you can make bridges across water. There is a ton to talk about. We just want to get a quick video out there showing the basics. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next feature Friday. We'll be talking about something new. Not quite sure what it is yet. Stay tuned. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them. See you, everybody.